Hey folks, this is Damien with Southpaw Design, and today we are going to take this handy dandy piece of walnut and turn it into a couple of custom design coasters. And these coasters are going to be, uh, we're going to use the CNC router and we're going to cut in my school's logo. Now I'm going to create a separate video that will show you how to actually uh, use software to create your design and export your G-code. This is all about taking the uh, CNC router, in my case the Onefinity X50, and setting it up and actually running a project from start to finish. So stick around and hope you enjoy. The first step is adhering the uh, material to the spoil board. I like to use a couple pieces of uh, masking tape along with some CA glue and accelerator, especially with something this small because of the fact that I don't have a lot of place to clamp it down. Make sure to put it down quickly because that stuff dries fast. For my first pass, I'm gonna be using a 1 8 inch upcut bit with two flutes. That'll help to remove as much material as possible since we're making a pocket. Next, I set up my probe to check the X, Y, and Z. I always like to use the bottom left corner in every situation, unless there's a special circumstance where I might use the center. Once I have my bit in place on top of my probe, I'm gonna enter the appropriate size for my bit. This one is 1 8 of an inch, so 0.125 inches. Get set, and then we let it do its thing. I sped this part up just so we wouldn't be here for a while. Hit close, and then we remove our probe. Next, we load our first file. Remember, this is a two-step process. This one is going to be the pocket, so it's going to do the majority of the work right here. Make sure that you turn your router on before you actually hit go. I've made that mistake a couple of times and broken a couple of bits. Next, we change out our bit and we're going to put in our 16th inch bit. That 16th inch bit is going to go around and create a contour to clean up those lines and get in those deep corners that the 1 8 inch bit couldn't. We recheck our XYZ probe since this is a different size bit. You can always just reattach it and check it again since we haven't moved the uh, board at all uh, out of place. If you do happen to move it, that makes things a little bit more difficult. Let's load our contour file. Make sure to turn the router on before you hit run. And it's going to do its contour. I'm going to speed this one up as well because you get the idea. It's still cool to watch though.
Next, let's just go ahead and remove our work from the spoil board and take the tape off. We're almost done. I like to use a marking knife to kind of clean it out a little bit, get any kind of burrs and rough edges out there. The marking knife is nice and sharp, so it does a good job of getting into the corners and cleaning up those little imperfections. Now it's off to the table saw where we're going to cut it down to the final size. You'll notice that I actually made two, but the second one, eh, there's a big chunk that was already cut out of it, uh, as well as a giant knot. So it's not going to make for a very good finished product. So you'll notice that I'm not taking much care uh, with that one. You'll also notice that I put masking tape on it, which will help to prevent any kind of tear out. Two final passes to get it down to our actual width, and we're done. All right, and so with that, we are all finished. Now all that I need to do is put a finish on it. And this is where I still need a little help. Um, I don't know what finish is best. I'm thinking polyurethane, uh, possibly a mineral oil. I definitely want to stay away from any kind of thick uh, butters like a board butter or anything like that because uh, it can get down into those grooves and, and just never dry. Uh, also, I think I need to readjust this design and not make it quite so deep. Seems like it's a little deep for what's supposed to be a coaster instead of what I think is, I want to say that's about an eighth of an inch. I probably need to back that off to 16th of an inch maybe in terms of depth because it's meant to show off a, um, a logo, but it's not meant to be so deep. All right. So if you enjoyed what you watched today, I would really appreciate that subscription, a like, a comment down below, a share. I'm really trying to get this channel out there and your support means the world to me because it shows me that you're watching. It shows me that what I'm doing is interesting and valuable and it, give me some ideas from other things that you'd like to see. Thank you and have a great day.